Today I wanted to talk about what are the things that I regret when starting my YouTube channel so that hopefully you can take these things into consideration when you're starting your own YouTube channel. Um, don't make the same mistakes that I did. Also, if you're not really interested in starting a YouTube channel but you would like to know what goes on behind the scenes and what it takes to create a YouTube channel, then keep on watching. <laughs> and I'm here to help you on your journey to a happy life. On this channel, you will learn how to navigate through the struggles of life so that you will have more time, energy, and resources to spend on the people and the things that you love the most. I'm going to be sharing with you guys three things that I regret most about starting my YouTube channel. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you want to know my tips and tricks, um, my experience, starting out as a new YouTuber and what I learned, as well as what not to do with your YouTube channel, then please consider subscribing and join the family as we journey on to a happy life. Also you guys, please follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook, as well as Twitter. All of my social media handles is always in the description box below. Don't forget to stick around until the end of the video where I will be sharing the number one regret that I wish that I had done differently and what mind shift I needed to do that got me off the fence and helped me to start my own YouTube channel. Guys, if you have been thinking about starting your own YouTube channel for the longest time now, then you need to watch this video because if you are not inspired to start your channel after this video, then I don't know what will inspire you. But before we get into the video guys, you know what to do, please click the subscribe button and join the family as we journey on to a happy life. My first regret about starting my own YouTube channel is actually my channel name. As you probably saw, my channel name is Gabby's Happy Life and for the longest time I was going back and forth about my channel name. I really wanted my channel name to indicate what my channel was going to be about. Everyone on YouTube was saying that you need to choose a niche, you need to have a niche, but I had a few things that I was really passionate about and I just didn't want to stick to one topic alone. I didn't want to do just fitness and weight loss videos on the one side and I didn't want to do just budgeting and finance videos on the other side. I wanted my channel to be about the things that I am really passionate about, but at the same time, I wanted to motivate people that maybe feel like they have been struggling with the same issues that I have been struggling with. Plus, I also wanted to show a little bit of behind the scenes vlogs and more relaxed videos as well. But if you have a niche, then that is great. Then you can just talk about that one topic that you are passionate about. That is perfect. I'm all about self-improvement and life is a journey. I wanted to portray that in my videos and I also wanted to share my experience and my journey and hopefully inspire people to get excited about their journey. But the important thing is and the tip that I have is you need to know what your channel is going to be about before deciding on it. I saw that there were a bunch of people online that were struggling with what to name their channel and for the longest time I was struggling with that too, but I realized that there are two strategies that people use in naming their channel. The first one is that you could just combine your name with what your channel is about. For example, cooking with Gabby or Gabby's fitness journey, or you could just keep it simple and use your real name. Option one works really well if you have one niche topic that you like to talk about. Those types of channel names tell the viewer exactly what the channel is about and they know from the get-go that if they subscribe to this channel then they're probably going to be getting fitness videos or cooking videos or budgeting videos or whatever it may be. But for me, like I said, I didn't want to just be focused on one topic alone and so for a while my channel name to be Journey to a Happy Life, but I realized that there was already a channel on YouTube with that name, so I just went with Gabby's Happy Life. But now I kind of just wish that I went with my name and surname, Gabriela Vesegna, just for the purpose of building my brand. Um, your name and surname is better if you want to build a social media brand and then online business with your name. 
so I kind of regret calling my channel Gabby's Happy Life because I feel like the term life is kind of too broad, but it's okay, I can always change it at the later stage if I really want to. Just don't delay the process of starting a YouTube channel because you are stuck on what to call your channel. Rather, pick a name and get started and take comfort in the fact that you can always change your name at a later stage. Or just go with your name and surname. It's the easiest, simplest option. The second thing that I really regret about starting my YouTube channel is that I don't have separate social media accounts for my YouTube channel and my blog versus my private life. I really wish I had kept my social media accounts for Gabby's Happy Life separate from my private social media accounts, especially Facebook and Instagram. Well, you might be thinking, that's kind of obvious. Of course you should keep your social media for your YouTube channel separate from your private life. Um, this is very important if you are trying to build an online business and build a business and create an online brand with your YouTube channel. Because it makes sense if you think about it, you're obviously going to keep your business social media account separate from your personal private social media account. But somehow when starting a YouTube channel, I didn't think about it that way. On Facebook and Instagram, you guys can find me at Gabriella Bacedano because those were my existing private social media accounts. But on Pinterest and Twitter, you can find me as Gabby's Happy Life. By the way, please go follow me on Pinterest and Twitter and all of my social media accounts. It really would have been cool if my social media handles were the same across all of my social media platforms. That way, it makes it easy for people to remember me and find me on social media. So, I created a new Pinterest and Twitter account, but I kept my Facebook and my Instagram as my existing Gabriella Vesena. I guess that also has its benefits because now I could promote my YouTube channel to my existing audience or existing followers on Facebook and Instagram. And that could be good to get that initial boost of traffic to your YouTube channel. But what I recommend that you do is that you create a new email address that is the same as your channel name and open up new social media accounts that correspond to your YouTube channel and then go and add your existing friends and followers on those accounts but just be careful to explain to them that yes you do have two separate accounts and that they don't think it may be a hacked account. That way you can keep your private accounts private and still share things that are relevant to your private daily life but also have your YouTube social media account or your business social media accounts. These tips are mostly relevant if you want to build a brand and a business from your social media, from your YouTube channel. If you want to earn an income and build a brand, then these tips are mostly relevant for that. But if you're just doing your YouTube channel for fun, then it doesn't really matter what your channel is. If these tips are making sense so far, guys, please let me know in the comments down below. The third thing that I regret, guys, is not starting my channel sooner. Yes, I know. I wish I had started my channel long time ago already, guys. I can't believe that I have only just started my channel. I regret this so much. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory. While I was studying at university, I discovered YouTube and I fell in love with the YouTube world and I thought to myself, I would really love to have a YouTube channel. I was watching Zoella and the Brit Crew, Michelle Phan, and all of these other big YouTubers at the time and I was just dying to have my own YouTube channel, but I was a little bit embarrassed and not sure what I was going to share at the time. Plus, I was at university and I felt like I didn't really have time to start a channel. On top of that, I also thought that you needed to have fancy equipment in order to start a YouTube channel. You needed to have an expensive camera or, you know, sound equipment, lighting and things like that. So, and I didn't have that at the time and I didn't have the money to buy it. So I told myself that, you know what, once I graduate and I start working, I'm gonna get the equipment that I need and I'm gonna start my own. YouTube channel. But again, after I graduated, I was a little bit embarrassed. I thought, you know, what are the people going to think of me? My friends and family are probably going to make fun of me. Um, I was 
scared that people were going to judge me. I was scared that nobody was going to watch my videos. Fast forward to very recently, about two months ago, my husband and I really wanted to start a YouTube channel, but we were going back and forth about what we were going to name our channel. We were trying to find the perfect name for our channel, and because we couldn't come up with the perfect name for our channel, we were just delaying the process of starting a YouTube channel. Also, some of the things that I wanted to share on YouTube did not really align with my husband. For example, um, I asked him, but babe, if I want to share my birth story, would that be okay if we do it on our channel? And he was, he had a different direction that he wanted to go with the channel. And so we ended up deciding that no, we were just going to start our own channel. But again, I delayed the process. We, I was scared, I was nervous, I was um, embarrassed and all of these things. I didn't know what to do. Then recently, my friend actually started um, posting videos on Facebook and the first video that I saw of her, the video was called Introducing Myself and I watched the video and a flame was literally ignited inside of me. I thought to myself, if she can post videos, then I can do it too and I don't need to be embarrassed, I don't need to be scared. If she has the courage to do that, then I can have the courage to do that too. That day, I made up my mind that I was going to start a YouTube channel no matter what. She is the one who literally inspired me to start my YouTube channel because I saw her doing it and I am literally so grateful for her because ever since I saw that first video of hers, I had never looked back. I made up my mind, I'm going to start the channel. So my only regret is that I hadn't started my channel but also at the same time, I guess that everything happens for a reason and everything happens in its own time. Um, so there is a reason why I only started my channel now. I need to go through the things that I went through so that I am able to share my story and share my journey with you guys. If you guys are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, stop thinking about it and just do it. Trust me guys just do it. You'll never know if you're going to enjoy it until you've tried it. If I can take my phone and film a video and learn how to edit and upload it on YouTube, then you can certainly do it too. Maybe I can be that same spark for you that my friend Nancy was for me. It is very normal to be scared and embarrassed. We are human beings. We have these feelings, but it is important to not let those feelings delay us from the things that we really want to do never know you might just find your new passion don't be like me and wait for the perfect equipment don't be like me and wait for the perfect channel name don't be like me and wait for the perfect timing just start that is my number one tip for you guys just start right now just start that is the mind shift that I had to make um, is that done is better than perfect don't worry about what people are going to think just start. Don't worry about having the right equipment, just start. Use what you have, just start. The moment that I made that mind shift um, and I thought to myself, I need to just start no matter what and um, learn as I go, then that really got me motivated to finally start my YouTube channel. So don't be like me and end up regretting that you didn't start sooner. Make that mind shift in your head and start your YouTube channel today. If you love this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos in my budgeting series and also check out my other videos in my weight loss journey. Be sure to share this video with a friend and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again in the next one. Bye!